Alright, Shalom. I'm a Hebrew Israelite. Once again, out here, another weekend of prophesied of total destruction and downfall of America, aka Rome, Sodom and Gomorrah, Egypt, Babylon. All of the, uh, the Bible descriptive words of this kingdom or this nation and the people that's ruling this nation. First of all, I want to give all praise, and glory, and honor to the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Brakatah. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone and much love, peace, and blessing to all your elect brothers out there that's pushing this truth across the four corners of the globe. All right, we're going to do like we always do. Start off with the 12 tribes of Israel, the Lord's chosen people, His chosen children, the only nation that the Lord loves. All right, we're going to start off with Judah, the so-called Negroes, Benjamin, Jamaica, the West Indies, Benjamin, the, the Haitians, I mean, uh, Levi, the Haitians, Simeon, the Dominicans, Zebulon, Panama, the Guatemala, Ephraim, the Puerto Ricans, Manasseh, Cuba, Reuben, the Seminole Indians, Gad, the North American Indians, Asher, Brazil, Colombia to Uruguay, Neptali, Argentina to Chile, and last but not least, Issachar, the so-called Mexican. Those make up the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, the Lord's chosen children. Today, I'm dealing with a, to a topic that a lot of brothers have a problem with, man. It seems like it seems like the closest we are to the end of the Lord coming to destroy this place, it's like brothers are getting scared, man. Their faith is wavering. You know what I'm saying? They're allowing Satan to hinder them from coming out here on the highways and byways, making up these old lame excuses why they can't come out here on the highways and byways. You know, we understand if you gotta work, it's mandatory, but a lot of you brothers are volunteering for overtime to keep you from coming out here on the highways and byways. The Lord blessed me on my job to where I had the weekends off, because at first, you know, I was had maybe one day off during the weekend, but now the Lord blessed me to where I had my whole weekend off, so I come out here and prophesy the downfall of this wicked society known as America. First scripture I'm gonna go to is Romans. Romans chapter 12, verse one. It said, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies as a living sacrifice. Now how do you present your body as a living sacrifice? You gotta come out here on the highways and byways and face the elements that's out here. You gotta face the, the people comments, their negative thoughts, their negative attitudes towards you. You gotta face these demons that's out here in this atmosphere that jumps on people and put the demonic spirits on them to either attack you or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Me as well as other uh, countless brothers out there on the highways and byways has been attacked for what? Preaching his word. Satan has used his uh, demonic angels to jump on people, to put, uh, put his demonic spirit in people to cause them to, to do things to them in the Lord. Like spit on them, throw things at them, jump on them, attack them with uh, foreign objects. But that's part of it. That's how you offer your body up as a living sacrifice. You see what I'm saying? Like the scripture tell you, there's no greater love than for a man to lay down his life for a brother. And who was our big brother? You have a shot. You see what I'm saying? Those are the ones, matter of fact, let me get it right quick. Because this is a situation that has to be addressed. Because you have brothers, man, that's getting weak and getting scary, man. They don't want to come out here and preach the word. They I don't know what to say or I don't know what to do. What am I going to do? You've been in this, this truth long enough, you should know what you should do. Especially you've been standing out there on, on the on the highways and byways with other brothers, you should be paying attention and watching. You should know what to do. You should know to bring in a 12 tribe with the stick. You see what I'm saying? You should know, even if it's milk scriptures, you should know to bring be a, a perfectionist of those milk scriptures. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody ain't ready for the seven heads and ten horns. Sometimes we still gotta go back and reiterate breaking down Job 9.24 to the best of our ability. Why? Because people don't know this truth. Matter of fact, let me get this scripture right quick. Then I got another precept. This is uh, 2 Ezra chapter 2, verse 47. Well, I'm going to start at verse 46. It said, Then said I unto the angel 
what young person is it that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of God, which we know is Jehovah but the world call him what? Jesus Christ. Or as Nate call him, Jesus the Christ. It says, So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of God, which is Jehovah whom they have confessed in the world. Now how do you confess the name of the Lord in the world? You have to be out here in the highways and byways. Yeah, we do sit down and, you know, videos we do at home and put on YouTube. But the main avenue is what? Out here on the streets to make your body a living sacrifice out here in the open in front of everybody. It says, So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of God whom they have confessed in the world. See what I'm saying? I'm out here in the world right now. Down the street you got this school over here putting on some kind of function for the kids. I'm out here in front of everybody. Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, Edomites, Elamites, Hamites, Japhites, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Arabs, you see what I'm saying? The uh, Ishmaelites. I'm in front, I'm out here in front of everybody making my body a living sacrifice. Anybody can ride by and do a drive by on me for teaching the word, man. I don't care. They be putting me out of my misery. They be doing me a favor, actually. It says, uh, whom they have confessed in the world, then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly. How do you stiff, stand stiffly for the name? Matter of fact, we finna look up what the word stiffly means. Bear with me one second. Stiffly, definition. Bear with me one second, we're looking up the word stiffly. We're just getting a, a quick definition on what the word stiffly mean here in 2nd Ezra. Those that stood stiffly for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It's moving kind of slow, you know. Esau uh, devices ain't all it's cracked up to be. You pay all this money for for your phone bill and, and you know what I'm saying, data and internet and all this stuff and it still ain't working up to par. They let you know he the devil, he deceives you. Telling you you're getting like, uh, uh, what, 3,000 uh, mega, I mean, uh, 3,000 megabytes per second or let's say you supposed to be paying for 4G or 5G speed and you only really getting 1G speed. It says, adjective, uh, stiffer, stiffest, Rigid or firm, see? Those that stood firmly for the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Difficult or impossible to bend or flex. Why does it say difficult or impossible to bend or, or flex? Because why? We standing on this firm foundation, the true doctrine that we was taught. In the name and spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Can't nobody persuade us to, to believe or think otherwise. That's why I say difficult or impossible to bend or flex. Meaning we're not going to budge or move off this doctrine that we've been taught through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. We out here teaching the same doctrine. Not moving or working easily. See, you can't move us. It says of a person or animal, not supple, moving with difficulty as from cold, age, exhaustion, or energy. You can't move us. See what I'm saying? It says strong, forceful, powerful. Strong or potent to the taste or system. What's the taste or system? The spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. That's what's strong or potent to the taste or system. What's the system? This kingdom. That's what we are here prophesying against. So you can't move us or persuade us to believe another doctrine. It says, as a beverage or medicine. Is this not water? Is this not ice salve or, or hyssop? You see what I'm saying? Is this not medicine? You see what I'm saying? It's marrow to your bones. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It says resolute, firm in purpose, unyielding, stubborn. And that's what we are. We stubborn out here on the highways and byways when somebody trying to come up with their own uh, nonsense doctrine. 